By now, the world is well aware of that large lizard loose in Manhattan. Godzilla is big and hungry, but as Leonard Malton shows us now, the beast had a helping hand from the effects wizards of Hollywood. It only takes Godzilla just over two hours to tear up the Big Apple, but Hollywood's top special effects artists toiled for more than a year to bring the lizard to life. Oh, no. The king of the monsters comes ashore in Manhattan, wreaking havoc on a fishing pier. Ah! The beast is actually a submerged scale model that rips apart a miniature version of the pier. The scene is then played back in slow motion, and a computer combines an actor with the original shot. When Godzilla hits the streets of New York, a truck driver nearly becomes Lizard Lunch. The monster's often the work of computer animators, but for this thrilling sequence, the special effects team designed an animatronic model with facial and body movements powered by remote control. Godzilla steps down the street and he actually his mouth comes down and picks up the truck, lifts him way up in the air, and if the truck rotates, our stunt fellow falls out of the door. When the army takes aim at Godzilla, they also destroy the Chrysler building, or in this case, a highly detailed model wired for demolition by pyrotechnic experts. It's going to be a giant explosion and the entire top comes down. How's that, sir? Should be good. And this monstrous mayhem is giant. I'm going to flatten the place. Flatten it, I tell you. Flatten it. I see you thought it was all done by computers, but it's not, and that's what makes it so good. Godzilla's rampage, by the way, may not be over. The Beast makers were reportedly encouraged to plot out a trilogy of films. But then, of course, the Japanese Godzilla, that starred in the 50s, ultimately starred in 22 movies. That's a lot of time for a guy to zip up a suit, don't you think so? <laughs> Titanic.